The NBA Playoffs on 2K Sports is brought to you by Express. Dress like a pro. What is up guys, Son of Beast here, and this is another rematch as the Sixers are back home in Philly to play against the Bucks on the visiting team of Milwaukee. Who will win in Game 6? As the Bucks take the lead series 3-2. But the question is, could the Sixers tie this up 3-3 uh, in, in Game 6 and move on to Game 7? Or will the Bucks win the whole thing in a series, and and there will be, and will be the Eastern Conference champions to take on in the finals against the Lakers? We'll have to find out right here on Game Six from the NBA 2K20. So if you're checking out Chris Webber. Make sure you do so by checking on is on episode 38 on 2K TV. So this is the final final game for the uh, for the Sixers to play at Wells Fargo Center before uh, they before they win or they lose. Vote now. If you guys want to vote vote for a shoe creator challenge, make sure you do so. And if you already did it, that's fine. Do everything you want. But anyways, let's get right into this game and start game six. Hope you guys are ready to see what is happening. And, and here are the starting lineups right from the start. As we're ready to get things game on in game in game six at the Wells Fargo Center. Yeah, this might be a tough one, but we're not seemingly surprised to look at anything what the game looks like. So this is the brotherly love game of game six. As all the uh, performers of this game, the, of the players, uh, we're seeing uh, B and all the players in the Sixers to face against their for a first place position. But for as we're trending for this game, let's see what DA has to go with. Here's a reporter for David Aldrich. Joel Embiid and the Sixers have been through a lot in the last five years. At the beginning, there were so many losses on and off the court. But trust the process became a mantra, one that Embiid embraced. He said, I think a lot about what I went through, how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. Kevin, the process has turned out quite well. That is right. Embiid is also known as his nickname, The Process of 20. Um, I forgot what number it is, but I can't remember what that one looks like. But so, again, Simmons will be the starting like key matchups between uh, between each two on the point guarding position. Bennett Giannis against Al Horford in the point four position. Tobias Harris against Chris Middleton in the small forward is your key matchup. Embiid against, and finally, it's Embiid. Then it's MB against Brooke Lopez in, uh, in the center position. And finally, Richardson against Wesley Matthews in the shooting guard position. So as for that, Philly wins the tip-off and we start game six. First shot for Al Horford went off wide. But for Giannis, it will coming up. It will come back around the other way. Here's a drive. Oh, what a dunk. Because Looks like they're putting up some big wins here. And they're trying to show whose boss they look up here. We're just saying, pass up by MB. Number 21. Yes, the process, number 21. Shot for Simmons went off carry. They couldn't put the pieces together. They, 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 they did not quite get the piece off on the roll here in game two. In game two. But this might be a hard time for uh, for all those games that was being unacceptable by by one of each players that was making wide open shots, turning out big that wants to be in all over the country, all over the players on each in the town. Bouncing it past MB. Good ball movement here. Good ball movement here for the Sixers. We're just saying shoots over Matthews. Close one, but no shot. Their movement is good. And they well, they're, the that's their movement. That's what they are doing from the uh, possession of each game. Not to be quite honestly about, about what game it looks like, but it turned out to be difficult. Simmons right outside, going over with a ball movement. 
Bounce pass and B. Simmons dishes to Harris. Simmons over Giannis. And it's rejected, and there's a second shot clock violation on Sixers. This one happened in game five recently, going all over the course, and the, and the, and the fans are not happy about the shot clock about Giannis. They really dislike the uh, the uh, the Greek free. They do not like it at all. And for the and for the Bucks, they dislike all players, not just one, all players. Giannis missed again. That's Bucks. It's Milwaukee ball. Under five minutes left. There's a lot of pressure to put up as well. You would know it from looking at these numbers. These women have put up from the free throw line since. So here's Chris Middleton. Only 93.9. Right behind uh, T.J. Warren after the last possession of the playoff game in the regular season. This has happened all over the place. Nothing to happen. Giannis missing out on number two. 450 left on the court. Giannis only got two, but not enough. Good shot, and here's Al Horford. Giannis calls the first foul. 445 to uh, stop the clock, and Al Horford was seemingly caring about uh, about what his shot looks like. But his, uh, his shooting career went way off wide, not just picking up a quick, big, quick rebound. That was just way off the look on the course. Two shots is up for Al Horford. He first, makes the first. Makes the first. He gets the first one. He is offensively Kevin. Al Horford is even better on defense. Not a volume shot blocker or rebounder, but he's strong, agile, and always in the right place. That is right, Greg Effany. You know when his strong defense comes up with, he knows what he can do by last season in 2019. And Al Horford hits two free throws and he got his first bucket. No shots here on the fragments, but only a couple shots, which is way off the target. Not picking up right away here. It went too much to look. And there's an alley -oop by Giannis, assist by Bledsoe. Not just showing it up too quickly, but that went really tough to find out place. Almost went off, but here's Simmons passing it over to Terrace. Shot open for Embiid. Good, and that's the assist by Harris. And boy, did they need that. His first assist. In the five field of attempts they had. Giannis, oh, dunk it in. That is four points for Giannis, I mean six points for Giannis. Out of the alley -oop. Simmons, Al Horford for just a two. Horford, no luck here. They need to cover the man quickly, but it went Carriot loose. That's the assist by Wesley Matthews. 340 left. Passing it over to Embiid, and here's the drive. Second foul going on Giannis. Antetokounmpo, 336 left, 11 to 4. MB will go to the line to shoot two. A lot more entertaining than other players can handle. What? But they get tough. Joel Embiid, the processor, will shoot two. Sometimes he's never made it to the free throw line, but while well, he made a shot. But, but the other players did manage to make the shot. And he never been he never been on the free throw line since game five. And B hits the first. And Giannis is subbed out. At least Sofa is checked in. Adam Silver seems open to fewer games or even fewer minutes per game. What do you think of it? Uh, uh, this is one that, I, that I'm not with, uh, Kevin. You know, in, in my right. day, you had guys play 82 games. And, and let's go back to the days of Bill Russell and, and, and Will Chamberlain. They were playing in, in shoes that basically were socks, and they didn't have tape, and they didn't have all Nice shot for MB. It's up a two, four so points. I think we should keep it at 82 games and minutes the same because um, it, it keeps a, a full context of sports where you can talk about Harden uh, versus or Westbrook versus a big O. It, it keeps the argument in the same place. I think fewer games, fewer minutes, starts to change the dynamics and the expectations of what players can do. I don't mind changing and adding tournaments or letting guys get more rest, but I think the number of games and the minutes of the game has to stay 48 minutes, has to stay 
Here's Embiid following up the miss by, by Eric Bledsoe. A three-pointer. Pass to Simmons. Pass it by Simmons on the outside. Pass it back to Bias Harris. Harris outside. Harris looking the ball at the moment. To Simmons. Simmons with the two. No the shot's off. And that's a solid D pulling up on Bledsoe. Sixers trail by five. Here's Bledsoe. Draw the motion, but it's rebounded by Brooke Lopez. Lopez has got his second bucket. Second bucket has four points. Is on the row. Their last three field goals have come. Last couple three three field goals are just way way better targets to pull from here. Finds Richardson, but it doesn't look like he, they want to keep it going from out range. Simmons, Richardson outside. Triples, good! That will be the first assist by Ben Simmons. First free pointer will be on Josh Richardson. When the defense is over, stop the clock at 210. Timeout, Milwaukee. Their first timeout. And they are catching it up to start the first quarter to pull it from here. What a game this is. It looks like I'm going to need to find uh, find another tempo to look for. They need to go for patient offense to, uh, to give it another try. Not that serious, but not 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 kidding right now. I'm serious. This needs to be on the good one. Anyways, I'll do some pick and rolls, and I'm gonna do some uh, autos to find out which one I need to go for. Big group Here's another big group substitution as Connaughton is checked in for for, 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 Chris for Chris Middleton. Dante DiVincenzo, DiVincenzo is checked in for Wesley Matthews. Then George Hill is checked in for Eric Bledsoe. And Lopez is checked in for Brooke Lopez. And we got an offensive foul called on Connaughton. This might be only one mistake that was being pointed up here with a bunch of turnovers. Some turnovers were over the box, but many turnovers was pulling up on the Sixers. Pass the five ball. Here's Scott, covered by Eli Sofa. I don't see Corfer on the, on the uh, core, but he might do it. Corkmaz rolling over to MB. Suits over Robin. And there's the six points for MB. Six points for Joel Embiid. Great bounce what pass for Corkmaz. Cork and there's your shot that was heavily contested to blow it up right in the uh, right in front of the paint. Steven Chenzo against Fibel. Here's Steven Chenzo. Got it back. He got by Robin Lopez, rolling it back to George Hill. Screen on Robin. Second shot on the Here's a second shot, and there is your first basket for George Hill. On the interior. 112 left to play. 112 left court. to play. Burks trying to find a round to look for another open look. Burks, against Burks passing up to Corkmaz. Here's Corkmaz. After he game four, it was an amazing buzz for to see what Joel Embiid did. That he made it up on a leap without pulling into overtime. Not a great footer to put up for MB, but it went off target. His last career was just not well enough to look for. Uh, as for Joel Embiid, he has no choice to do but go for the buzz beater. This is like something straight out of the uh, by LeBron James that wins in Game Seven, and that was like really tough to look for. I don't have any choice to make the agreements, but this is all I need to go for. MB going over with the two. That's eight points. Shots good, and they are trailing up by two. 20 seconds left in the first period. That's a quality all great scores have. George Hill against Burks. 13 seconds. Burks against Hill. Passing to Sofa. Shoots it up, and there is your first basket for Eli Sofa. Lead by four. They lead by four. Play to make George Hill a very discerning playmaker. The buzz meter, Burks. Burks for three. And the last the shot, flash the shot for the first quarter, no good. 17 to 13 is your score as the Bucks lead by four. And for Giannis, well, it was a tough start to look for opinion ahead, but there might be more in the second quarter. 
coming from the place where you know, baseball is what's driven to us every time. I mean, I started playing baseball. I didn't play basketball. I started playing baseball and, you know, just watching my dad play basketball, I just fell in love with the game. And people were still telling me, they're like, nobody makes it out of here, usually out of basketball. I mean, your dad was a very rare case. And, uh, you know, I just believed in it. He wants to follow it up something important about uh, Al Horford to move for his first father to play basketball. But they didn't like he was going to care about baseball anymore, just like Michael Jordan did. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. We start off with the second quarter right from the game. They used the fast break to... What a nice defensive move on Embiid while Middleton was trying to help him out. He's all right, but it's a great help to look for. Middleton will take his first shot of a look. Harvey Williams is out there with Kyle Corver. And He's another driving Williams. look over by Marvin Williams. Hill. And, and here's your first basket two. for Milton. And Marvin Williams, Williams is on the court. For the Milwaukee Bucks. Subbing in by... Yeah, and I love the fans in Philly. Connaughton. They're notoriously prickly. Where's Kyle Corker at? He's not on the court? If not, they'll let you hear it. What the heck happened? Pass to Lopez. Robin Lopez made it late. But it's a D by Embiid as he'll put up four rebounds. Master Robinson the third. Oh, that's Kyle Corver. That was subbed out by Haley Sofa. He passes up by Burks. That's the Milton. Rolling over to Robin Lopez. Robinson. Rolls it up. A nice D here for Kyle Corver. As you're talking about the Philly fans, they were even booing their team in that there are there are a lot of booing teams in game five, but that's what's the that's what's impossible to try to beat them up as the Sixers are trying to beat against the Bucks. But this might be a very tough start here in the, since, uh, since season one. That was ever going to be created at that time. Now here's DA. Well, Kevin, Chris Middleton was a first time All Star in 2019. Now we all know that Middleton is one of the league's best shooters. But he had to adjust his game to a new system under coach Mike Budenholzer. Middleton said, I guess that's what being an All Star is a team player and a complete player. Not playing for stats, playing for nothing else but to win. Kevin? First time All Star, First time all -star was on was on Chris Middleton, so thank you so much. Middleton will go to the line to shoot two, following up with a foul going on Dante DiVincenzo. Wouldn't make the block, but it, but the referee was called a foul on on DiVincenzo. First shot for Middleton's good. And he checked out, and Al Warford is checked in. Bias Harris and Ben Simmons comes in for Herrera team. Corfer, Middleton, and Oxcupo is back on the court. Corfer switches to shooting guard. And Burks is checked out with Mike Scott. Offensive player, I can stop and let you bump into me and shoot the ball. I think the refs just, they just have to be smart with it. Sometimes it's a foul, but every time it's not just because Two free throws from Middleton's good. The Sixers trail by two. But that's what Giannis going again, and oh my goodness, he's like he was carrying out, not making heavy contest shot, not missing anything, but he did show up an open look. Well, of all of the Sixers uh, players, did not call it to the three zone. Passes up by Harris. To the inside. Move it over to Milton. It's not going to go in as the Corfer will take the second rebound. Here's Giannis. Look it up. And Giannis making 10 points in a row. A lot of players are just going in and out. Finally, to be in first place. And that was heavy. Corfer with the third rebound. To the paint. Nobody covered, and we're calling a timeout with just 420 left. And you can see we are not getting a good. We are not finding a man to man to cover with. This is not going to be happening. This is not going to happen though in game six, game four, and five. By that time, this needs to be a good look at the, a, a better, another offensive look. As right now, I'm going to do uh, Fox, um, Fox 2018. And then we need to look for, we need to keep an eye on uh, on Archie Kupo. 
Make sure nothing is inside right now. And somebody needs to cover on Al That should be that should be Al Warford. Well, well, he knows all the rules, but uh, he needs to find a type. Needs some switch, and then we need to go from uh, from uh, no hedge to go under. Now Richardson, Richardson is checked in for the Bucks. For uh, comes in for Hill. George Hill, Williams, Matsukupa are seven in and out, and Matsukupa switches to the point forward. Robin Brook Lopez is checked in with Eric Bledsoe. And Josh Richardson is checked in for, for Milton. Here's Ben Simmons. Triple went off the mark. Triple, no good. Matsukupa going up with the streak on. Unbelievable! And this is going to be a tight call for for uh, for the Sixers to look for. He, they need to find out what Al Horford has done. Defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Horford kicks to Robinson. Kicks to Robins, Robin the third. Robinson. Robinson to Horford. Outside is Simmons. Simmons with the wide open look. The three-pointer off the mark. Corker with just four rebounds to play through. Moves it up. Solid D on Simmons. As Horford will grab it up with another rebound. That's how you play it. He does a good job of getting into the shot. Horford dribbles good from long range. What a shot this is. Nice shot for Warford, making five points in the game. So if we're just under three minutes, Middleton against Robinson the third. They're rolling around. Middleton. And there we got a foul and counts it in. Tobias Harris takes his first personal foul. Difference between Milwaukee and the Sixers. Nowhere to be. A lot of points in the paint. They're coming up for the box. Kyle Corpus checked out. Connaughton is checked in. One shot left for Middleton. And the Bucks will be leading it up by 10. They now lead by 10. Here's Simmons with just 243 left. Simmons passed to Horford. After the home game, after the, after the Bucks finished the game six, we all know if they're going to win or, or or lose that time and head to game seven. We're not sure what's going to happen here because if the Bucks wins the game, then it's probably over and they're going to have to face up against the Lakers. Here's Brooke Lopez following the miss by Al Horford. Shots good, right over Robinson the first. He's got the lead up to 12. Got the lead up by 12, assist by Middleton. To the hoop now with consistency. Richardson going back the other way. Without the illegal screen on Connaughton. Robinson against Middleton. Why not be trouble looking overhead? Grabs a rebound for all Horford, but it catched away. He's been invisible at the offensive end all game long. As a, oh, what a quick pass by Bledsoe. I mean, maybe could have tried. Obviously, it looks like Giannis on Sukupo made it 18 points. Covered by Horford. And the dunk is revenged on Ben Simmons. Amazing. Amazing dunk that time. What a way to sweep it from here for revenge on Giannis. Let's go. Making a shot, and he grabs his own rebound with just two. Inside, stolen by carried away. Milton with the steal. Here's the lob. Here's a look and a long drive. Timeout, Philly. And looks like the Sixers are going to need to figure it out with another look of offense because this is not working out really well. We're just going to need to uh, find another look here. And somebody needs to be guarded on Middleton, and we're gonna go with a different look here. That's not gonna help you score points. So, uh, not a good scoring points for for one of each team. That should be Ben Simmons to be guarded on uh, on Eric Bledsoe. He switch, go over, and go by a middle, and needs to go right into the middle, front, and then um, and then Chris Middleton. That should be. 
You know what? That should have been that should have been the one, the other person that was gonna happen. That would have been uh, Tobias Harris to cover up. Watch her in the baseline. Go over. Have to go with three, three to four top. Make it hard. Don't want to make any fouls at that moment. New changes here for for the Bucks and the Sixers. Cork Maz is checked in for uh, for Tobias Harris. Dante DiVincenzo is checked in for Derek Bledsoe. And Angie DeCumpo switches out to the center. Didn't want to call out for the three second violation for under three minutes. And B going right to the top. Find the shoot. Richardson carrying a three. Bucket triples, good for Richardson from outside. Assist by Korkmaz. He doesn't have. And with that, Richardson has no time to, to spare the uh, clock, and they need to go up again. Dante DiVincenzo against Richardson. Richardson cover. Going for an out of bounds to take it away. But it's passed to Giannis. Giannis misses again, but at least so far, made it back in. Mike Scott calling out his first. And for really so far, he, he has no pointer at all he, to, uh, to go up with, uh, with an alley or the three pointer. For that will be his second, uh, he'll be first trip to the free throw line for really so far. Stop the clock at 45.4 seconds. Two shots left for really so far. First shot went off. Giannis uh, is totally telling that Eli Sofa to take his time more. But Eli Sofa didn't uh, practice to do well. Uh, he didn't train enough for well. What he seems to be doing right now, he's uh, he's like uh, getting onto the social media. He wa he really wants to talk with Giannis and go over through a different time with the head coach by Mike Budenholzer. But for the second free throw, it went good. So he needs to find out what his rebound will be before he, uh, before he can get back on the court. Korkmaz, Richardson going the other way. It's calling the rebound by Korkmaz, but it's carried away by Connaughton. Shot went off. Giannis finishes off. And it puts the rebound back in. Got the lead up by 14. Here's Richardson. Pass over by Embiid. Shot clock. I mean, game clock winding down. Buzz beater for Richardson. Second time, no good, and that's the end of the first half. 39 to 25 is your score. With a credible lead for this bus and trying to make a transition right in the other way. And now let's send you over to David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Well, it was just getting stops, uh, getting rebound, getting out of the question, uh, find a lane, find open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, DA. Please stand by for the halftime show after this. And with a lot of efforts going on for the Bucs, we are ready to get started here in the second half. Giannis Antetokounmpo stunning up with an incredible game. I'm not that serious. I'm not kidding. This guy, he's like he's like the Greek freak, and he's almost turned as a legendary player. But he might be, but he's already a superstar. But that's might be that's might be really different than a, than a legendary player that wants to come up with a move. Smooth, nice uh, transition, and going in everywhere. Just going from different sides again. And that's the group for Brett Brown. Brooke Lopez makes a carry up layup. This is by Giannis. As they start the second half. Here's Simmons, only covered out to be just two points and two rebounds and two assists of the game. Harris back to Simmons with the bounce pass. Shots off. Rebounded again by Alex DiCumpo. How many was that? I don't know. This tells you all you need to know. Giannis went off, but it's passed off to Brooke Lopez. Roll over to Bledsoe. Bledsoe went off carry, and MB brought some rebound. Richardson coming around the other way. Pass up by Orford, and the foul will be on Wesley Matthews. His first. 
And he'll go to the line to shoot two for Al Horford. Wesley Matthews didn't realize it was his What? What did I do? Doesn't realize how, how, how well I can get into the game. Well, there's a best two way to go up by a defender. They're going to have to work on a lot more to get this done for growth as far as his play. But everything in that might be a very close call. This so might be to really to tough to go from, uh, from a different there. look of offense and defense. Al Horford shooting two. And First free throw goes in. Yes. Is there someone you competed with that you feel is underrated by history, has not been given uh, their One shot left for Al Horford to keep yeah, it going. I think when you look at White Chalk to Jason Williams, that what he started in, in, in the culture of play and what he continued. And you look at Ben Wallace, who I played with four years at, at uh, Washington. Second like free throw is good. There, we saw that potential with him. I mean, that'll be seven points for uh, Al Horford and just six minutes left to go. 41 to 26. Seven. The Bucks are killing them with a lot of bunch shots or misses for uh, the Sixers. Here's Brooke Lopez going to send out to whip a shot. Going to fade away. And it's grabbed back by Giannis. And Giannis sends it back in. A lot of putback and rebounds are going all over the place. But this might be a very look for the, uh, on the bright side than the, than the dark side. If all the Bucks fans, we want MB to be on here, then they say, then the Sixers fans say, do not bring MB to the Bucks fan or, or Miami. This might be very luck, unlucky to see what to see what Joel B was looking for. Here's Simmons. They're rolling it over to Harris. Harris going up the drive and the foul will be on Middleton. His first and second team foul will go on Milwaukee. Tobias Harris, only the most improved player that was going to ever run, ever going to make a shot uh, since back with, since back in 2019 with the start of the regular season. As uh, he played with the Clippers with uh, Morrison Gordon and Williams, but his second ability was very off. Not to be uh, looking out wide enough. Going. First shot for Tobias Harris is good. There are new changes as Milton's checked in for Richardson. And Philadelphia making a change here. Milton's checked in. One shot left for Harris. And Harris, Harris hits two. He has two first two pointer of the game at the free throw line. No bucket made for uh, for uh, Harris. Only free throw made. That's the middle team for the three and shots good. They are extending the lead by how many times by a possession like that from them today by by 19. They're extending the lead by 19. Here's Simmons. Tries to end for first dunk it. We'll check out one more time from the air. Great look on the uh, on the uh, breaking on the other end over by Wesley Matthews. What a nice smart move that Simmons could have found out to look for an open look from the baseline to the paint. Puts the Simmons. Ashikubo with another miss. Now he's off the street. They are trailing by 17, but not for long. Simmons, covered by Brooke Lopez. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Pass back, pass to Milton. Pass to Harris. Back to Embiid. Four seconds to shoot. Milton with just two. Fade away, went out long. But it missed again. He could be better here. It'll cost Giannis going back the other way. Here's Wesley Matthews, the fadeaway and a miss. Glass, but it's no good. No good and no pointer for Wesley Matthews. He might be on cold. Here's Middleton finds Simmons. Matthews. Rolls it up by Harris. Passes up by MB. Six to go. Shoots from the elbow. Two-pointer off the mark, and the Sixers could not find a good shot to look. Here's Giannis. 
Giannis on the drive, and it's covered by Simmons with a solid D. In the corner, in the corner is Harris. You have five left. Here's Al Horford. Outside for Simmons. Simmons with a triple. Almost made it in, but it's definitely off the loose ball with a wobbling, wobbling around. But there's Bledsoe with a three timeout. Philly Sixers, they are extending the lead by 20. And they're calling a number of different look on, on offense to find another look from here. And the Sixers may not be enough to get through the playoffs to go to the finals. Made some new changes here as Eric Bledsoe is checked out. As we're gonna break in the action, Alex and now Horford is switching up to the center. All five players are checked out. Well, Elisa Oba Williams, Coniston, DiVincenzo, and Hill are checked in for recently a acquired time. Here's Richardson. He switches to, uh, he's still in a shooting guard position, but five balls checked in. This hasn't been the break. And Mike Scott is checked in for for a beat. Richardson rolling back over by Corpaz and Harris checked out here during the season's final stages. Bounce again. Balls are tight. Free for Richardson. It's it's off the mark. Illy Sofa grabs another look at the rebound. Has been impressive. Milwaukee had 26 rebounds, and that's 13 for the Sixers. DiVincenzo makes the three. Great pass and assist. That was that was the assist by by Hill. Here's Scott going in. Scott's first shot goes in. Assist by Five Ball. Under two minutes, 54 to 33 is your score. Hill, off the hand. And it changed the other way by Horford. On the break, On the break, here comes Court Boss. Last touch by Marvin Williams and LB. I mean, Court Boss and LB change. That'll be turned over by Milwaukee. Saturday. The 76ers are just taking on a game Indiana seven against the Bucks if necessary. They'll go up against Bradley Beal. Then it will be then, uh, if then they win, the then uh, then they are then they are moving into game seven. If they don't, then that's the game. Illy Sofa takes the dunk. Yes, the Sixers are are getting tired right now, and they're not showing up. They're not ready to take the final stuff on the on its way because they do not know that Brett Brown needs it. He'll go for it. Rebound by Elias so Sofa. He's got four rebounds in this game. Go to counter competitor he is. Oh, five ball. Oh, a good take here for Richardson. He did show up. Five ball finished off with the dunk. Nice team basketball right there. Assist by uh, Richardson. And that's your finish. Finishing drive at the moment by five ball. 102 left in the third quarter. Under one minute left, George Hill. Didn't seem like he was going to start uh, passing the ball around while well, he was going to look for an open drive. And the sofa went missing. Richardson went up and on a rebound. He had some boxed coverage that turned into... Here's two on one. No, not two on one anyway. Here's DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo taking a steal. There are a lot of turnovers going on for the Sixers, but the but the Bucks, they're not they're not taking a turnover. They just get stronger every time. Sixers go the other way with it. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. I need to find somebody open. Pass by Fiebel. Fiebel moving over by Courtbys. 10 seconds, five ball. Missed the three. Triple no good for uh, for the Sixers. Here's, Here's Connaughton. And a buzz beater, and it counts it in. And, so and that is the end of the first quarter. 58 to 35 to score. The Bucks are on its way, and they're looking for a champion to face up against the Lakers. But the Sixers might be might be done for the season and be back in 2020 to 21. While we get back into the game, uh, the fourth quarter to finish, here's your look at the assist of the game presented by State, State Farm. A lot of assists are pulling up away as Mar as Eric Bledsoe and Chris Middleton was sending out with uh, great alley-oops. 
I don't know how it works, but this this is hard. I need to go for it. But anyways, we're ready to start the fourth quarter, and here we go. Burks starting off with the fourth quarter. ready to go. Let's reset the lamps, courtesy of Gatorade. First shot went off carry. Robin Lopez with a solid D. Robin Lopez out there with Ilya Sokol. Robin Lopez is checked with Jim with Ilya Sokol. And a three will be put up by George Hill. First three-pointer. Robinson turns the other way. The tri their triple's good for the Sixers. Assist by Burks. So much emphasis on the perimeter game. You can see why after that sequence. They're changing all over the court, but here's Hill. Dinesh to Lopez. They're rolling around to Ilya Sofa. Now here's Ilya Sofa. Ilya Sofa trying to look for a look pass open. George Gill, pass to Robin Lopez. He's up, and shot's good. Burks calls his first foul of the game. Not really well for Burks, but he's not playing D at all. He finishes with this And yes, Brutch. Brooke and Robin Lopez are the only Lopez that there are brothers more uh, since the long time ago. Coming from Biggs, yeah, shooting more Ilya Silva and Hale are checked yeah, out. Oxygen and Bledsoe are checked back in. The space One the shot remaining for shoot, Robin Lopez. All five space players or the Sixers have subbed out. Simmons, Burks, who's off in the shooting guard position. You can shoot and it's cork box. You can dribble and get out for because of your height. I mean, and B. Passing lanes, and you can be a better passer. Get your teammates Harris. involved, and they like that spacing as well. Chris Made Bennett, one. Six thirteen left to go. The All Star game. That's Simmons with just four points on the board. He goes up by game six, but the shot fake puts him up wide. Well, I love what he's done already. Bounce pass that beat. Letting guys pick the Shoots it. A nice pass, and it's off. That adds a little bit of ego, and that's what you want because we want to Here's a three for Giannis. If you want to take that shot. So he decided to just go for the uh, other, other direction. And Ben Simmons carries out one handed dunk. A finishing drive assisted by Tobias Harris. I think he did a great job by letting players pick their teammates because that all way... 536 left to play here, 64 to 40. We'll see play out on the floor. Bledsoe carrying it out. DiVincenzo back to Bledsoe. Pass to Kumpo. They're looking all over it on the court. Giannis with a no good jumper shot. The 76ers have gone 2 of 4 from the field. 2 of 4 from the field goals right at that point. Oh, it's the, it's the angle. Nobody has saw that one before, and that might be the bad angle to put up from here. Shot for three is Bledsoe, and it's this by Giannis. Five, more, five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Back to Korkmaz. Moving the ball around. Burks going right from Simmons. Passes it to Burks. Pass to Burks. He comes up. And the shot will be off. Robin Lopez takes his first personal foul, and first will go to the line to shoot two. His first trip. Every free throw here. The difference between Bucks and Sixers only six out of six was on the Sixers in the first half. A lot of sponsorships are going up in between. You know, Kevin, I have. And uh, it's since he's played as with the Sacramento Kings, so with the Aaron I Fox, so scared of Willie Colley-Stein, Jackson, and some are plays Bagley the first. Things like that, but you know how great this league I, is. I know how it is. It's, it's just really unstoppable. So, uh, Here comes Brown. He stepped in for uh, DiVincenzo. I really, really like how they fit the jersey. And Corfer is checked in for Corfer is just into the shooting guard. No, I think they did a great job. Three players are checked out. Milton, sure Neto, and Oakley are checked in. Uh, you know, not taking away the shine from the team. And Burks. Burks hits two. That'll be two. First two pointer for Burks in the free throw. Three five here in the fourth. Giannis looking around all over the place. Oh, looking for Brown. Brown gonna have to start it. Start it off in the fourth quarter. Here's Here's a good pass to Bledsoe, and that'll be his first assist. Eric Bledsoe takes ten points in the game. Different story here. Here's Burks. Wide open look, no good. Shot relay went late. From three point range here in the fourth. Giannis. Giannis passes to Bledsoe. Shoots it from two. 
And, this and it's Oakwood will be his first rebound of the game. No good. Tells you a little something about their team. They've been able Milton with his other hand, finishes the drive. That'll be a long pass, assist by Oakwood. Hey Chris, for some guys playing in their hometown is a dream. Giannis going back the other way to finish it off. Oh, yeah. Here he comes, and yes, he did. It set it up with another point in the paint as he puts up 26. Not just a jumper, but just a drive. Moments of my life. And that will pass to Burks. Burks to Oakwin. Rolls it over to Harris. That's 30 tickets a game. Screen on Oakwin. I probably would have to go back into the NBA again just to pay Shot went off. I tell you what, it's fun. And, and for me, a mama's boy, eating your mama's cooking before a game, it is never, ever. Shots off. Oakland with the second rebound. Built in, two on one. That's the first, the number two pointers as he has four. That'll be in the assist by Milton. Continues here, guys. And the Bucks with possession. Bucks going, making the, uh, extending the lead all over the place. Bledsoe now against Neto. So. Three minutes to go by in the fourth quarter. And the Bucks are That's finishing another drive. The game. Makes him five for 12 so far. Five for 12. 12 points for Eric Bledsoe. Burks in the Burks rolls over to Neto. Don't want to take that shot, so Harris will have to jump from here. On left to the wing. Milton on the left wing. On to the right wing. Neto going to try the first one. And the foul on We call the loose ball foul on Oakwood his first. And that will be the offensive foul for the Sixers. Many fouls are pulling up on the home team. And now three players have stepped out. Milton and Matthews and Brooke Lopez have checked in. Chris Milton comes in for Sterling. And Oakwood, Neto, and Milton are checked out. As Horford. Burks against Bloodsoe. Wow, oh, no. And, and it looks like Bledsoe made a dunk. Okay, he's playing the game. He's playing all over the place. Right now. He kept off that dunk with some serious anxiety. Region foul will be on Matthews in second. Second team foul for Milwaukee. And now it looks like for him. Wesley Matthews is checked out. It up here. All five players are checked out. All five players checked in. Brown, Williams, Robin Lopez. And all five players on the other hand will take, take another look. Find Scott. Scott, Scott to Oakwin. All right, let's be checked in by Robin Lopez. Well, Lopez is out there to set the tone defensively. I mean, he's a wildly strong. Two minutes to go here in the uh, fourth period. That's a backdoor violation on George Hill. So that changes over to Sixer Ball. The league will take a larger role developing high school players. Your thoughts? Well, I, I think there's. I, I think it could be a safety net. You know, so Neto. kids are vulnerable at this time. Bible. Triples. Good. From outside, assist by Neto. How do I really get immersed? I want to be in the I don't know what is right wrong with uh, Neto, but, but he looks like he's been playing with the Jazz in the last season. It can only turn out but it seems like uh, he wants to change things up to go with the Jazz because there's a bunch of other players going in the other hand. Shots good for Robin Lopez. Second team foul on Philly. And second, and second personal fouls going on Oakland. Recognizes it. Uh, minute and 45 left. 76 to 49 is your score. The Sixers will be back again next season. At the end of 2020 to 21. But the finishing postseason will be the Bucks and the Lakers. Three point play. Neto going back here away, only one assist. In the fourth quarter. Here's a look. And he'll be taking his first trip to the free throw line to shoot two. Kyle Corper with the first personal foul. Third team foul on Milwaukee. Greg Brown's a lot, lot silent here, doing a lot more than he can do. Taking two shots. Two shots. It's on the throw and ready to go from here. Here's Neto, getting ready to start. <clears throat> Neto hits the first. 
With a G League growing by leaps and bounds, one is now being brought to Mexico City, Chris. I mean, first of all, let's go back to last season. Did you see how crazy those fans were in Jurassic Park in Toronto? Yeah, they love it. Can you imagine Mexico? Oh my They're God, not. this you would be great. It. Mexico City, yeah. Let's bring everyone in, all the fans in. And what I really love is that it's for the home fan base. So when I think of the Toronto Raptors, I think about the city of Toronto. I think about Canada and how it's theirs. And even though we're one league, that team is theirs and they take that pride on and it just brings so much more excitement. Can you imagine all the people in Mexico City being excited for their team? Oh, I want to be at one of the first games when that happens because I know the crowd is going to be sick. It's going to be crazy. I want to be there. Well, I think, yes, I think Canada was a lot more better than uh, Mexico City, but not the only time, but I was just like... Getting a lot more done to get things back in the this other way. Was a team performing and it looks like uh, that, I think uh, this Jurassic Park was sponsored uh, uh, by the Raptors. Right. That was filmed yeah. in Jurassic yeah. Park a long time ago after the Toronto the after Toronto yeah. Raptors was being named by the a Raptor dinosaur that was first been named in, uh, in Jurassic Park by the movie a long time ago. If not the but now in Jurassic the World, they still have the Raptor there. I don't know he why, but it's the name of the movie, but the dinosaurs are not alive anymore. Really knocked down big shots. So after the uh, drive by Fiebel, here's Scott. Long, deep, and a block by Corfer. Corfer dishes to Hill. They're going for a, they're going for a personal foul on Neto. 31.4 seconds left. 77 to 53 to score and George Hill. We'll take two on one free throw. George Dillon taking two shots. First shot for Gil's good. And guys, I love George Hill's game. He's a new changing look will be on Robinson the third. Checking in to Milton. is checked in for the 76ers. One shot left for Hill. And the Bucks fans seems to be surprised and, so he's and had a fun time because they're on their way to the finals. Another look for a drive from Fievel, and there's the assist by Robinson the first. They hit him the stride is even better. That's a love. That's a better drive than I expected. Twenty seconds to go here. Dribble the ball until the buzzer. Yeah, they gotta be happy with the outcome. Scott covering on Marvin Williams to the paint. Here's finds Corfer. And there will be a drop in two pointer. They just for Kyle Corfer to put up. Kept on grinding. Just ten seconds left. Final possession for the Sixers Showing in the box. Remarkable poise and focus uh, throughout the game. A sustained effort across the board. Shoots from 14. Shots off, and that's the end of the game of Eastern Conference game. So, the Bucks wins the series 4-2, to two, and their final score is 80-55. to 55. That means the Bucks are heading its way to the finals to play against the Lakers, and there are the Eastern Conference champions. Now I'll send you over to David Aldridge on the sideline for the courtside. David, with the post game. Post game. Thanks, Kevin. Brooke, congrats on the win. What are your expectations for the team right now? Uh, very high. You know, everyone's um, been coming together. You know, we've uh, been excited to close the season out the right way. And now, uh, you know, we're, we're gearing up for a great one, great run in the playoffs. Looks like you're rounding into form. Thanks again, Brooke. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, DA. Thank you guys for watching uh, the conference game between Eastern and Western as we are ready to finish our season and this road ends here in the finals of the Bracket Challenge. By that being said, until next time, peace out, bitches, for us a while as, a, as the conference dial between Eastern and Western and, and your Jordan player of the game was Giannis Antetokounmpo, 26 points, 4 assists, 8 rebounds, and a block. That was crazy, but I expected from Joel Embiid or other players. Or there might be tough contest shots here for Tobias Harris that hits from the angle of the box. Not just surprisingly enough, but that's all I need to know. So that being said, take care and... See you in the road to the NBA Finals of the virtual postseason.